everyone. My name is Catherine. I'm the executive director here with Basketball Nova Scotia. For those of you who don't know me, we wanted to take an opportunity to continue to answer some of the questions we've been getting about Spring League, and we thought that maybe this would be the best forum to, to explain some of those things. So before I get into the questions, I just want to thank everybody who's watching this video for everything you've been doing for the game of basketball. It's been a really tough year, and we know that the extra work that has been asked of club presidents and volunteers and coaches has been uh, very unexpected, and we appreciate everyone's efforts to help get all of our athletes on court. So thank you very much to start. Um, a quick registration update for everybody. So uh, kind of a reminder for those who aren't sure, um, we would love for you to get your registration in as soon as you can, because the more numbers we know about teams, the better ability we will have to answer some of your questions around location and cost, which is kind of the two biggest questions we've been getting. You do not need for the participation, uh, participation League to have your roster set yet. So if you are hosting tryouts or maybe don't have the $500 deposit ready yet, we do encourage you to go on the website and register your team. Next Wednesday is the deadline, so we'll kind of be following up with um, that deposit and with all of with all of you at that time. But the sooner that we know which teams will be registering, the more ability we will have to determine locations and costs, which is um, I know a lot of, a big barrier for a lot of people. Um, so please get your registrations in if you know that you are going to register a team. Uh, and we have updated actually a couple locations on the website, so you can check that out. Um, next question we've been getting a lot is club affiliation. Now, this is a little bit of a convoluted process. So in the email below, you'll find a step-by-step -step and some examples of how club affiliation and this league registration come together. We are requiring everybody who plays in our league to be club affiliates. Now, this is because it works the same as any sanctioned events that we run. So that includes provincial championships, or any tournaments that come out of our office, everyone is required to be club affiliates. Um, you know, there's a little bit of a bigger process around that, but it is a requirement for any programs that we run. So we thank you guys very much for understanding that. Next update I wanna share with you is our U18 age group. Now it did used to read born for athletes born 2003 or later. We have recently updated that wording on our websites to include or sorry to read athletes born 2003 or later or athletes born in 2002 if you're currently enrolled in a Nova Scotia high school. We are looking back at our mission of this league and understanding that we are providing a place for as many athletes as we can to play and we don't want that to be a barrier for anybody to participate in the league. So that is the updated wording around that. So thank you to everyone who sent us those questions and brought that to our attention. It is updated now on the website. Um, going back to sort of the registration piece, I do want to let everybody know that uh, if we don't provide you with a service, then we will 100% refund your money. So um, if you, pay the deposit of $500 and the locations and the cost come out and just something doesn't work for you, please know that we will refund your dollars. If you haven't participated in any games and you're not paying for anything, we're not gonna keep your money. The full refund policy around games being canceled or changed due to COVID is what we're working through with the league committee. So that those details will be shared at a later date once the committee can work through that. But again, our goal is not to keep anybody's money, it's to make sure that um, if we are not providing you with the service or you're not paying for games that haven't been played, then you will get that money back. Those are sort of the biggest questions that we have gotten. I wanna remind everybody that to please reach out if you have any additional questions, we will keep on with this series of trying to answer questions as they come up. I do have some calls planned for this week with some other PSOs and other sports to ask them about um, how they're handling their spring programming, COVID restrictions, travel, those types of things, which I think is the other big piece we need to cover, um, which is a little bit of an unknown. But please stick with us and we will get you as many answers as we can. Um, if you have anything else that we haven't covered, please feel free to call out or to call us. Um, 
My and Tasia's cell phone numbers are on the website. If anybody has any questions, please pick up the phone and call us because if we don't know the issues, then we can't answer the questions or we can't change them to make them better. So thank you all so much for your time and we will talk soon.